Hi guys, my name is Kayla and today I'm posting this video a year from now. So it's going to be fun because some of the answers I'm given might have changed by then. So you might learn some things about me that actually might be false now. Or maybe they're, just, they're still the same. So this is going to be fun. Let's go to the questions. Okay, let's start it off. Are you single? As of now, I am in a relationship, but not with a human, with God. As of now, I am single right now. And I'm happy with that. I wouldn't mind being in a relationship if it's God's will. But no one so far has met my standards and beliefs from what I know. I don't know like every guy you know super well especially since i follow the tour it's going to be hard to find someone that fits my standards but i always did think it'd be cool if god uses me to share the tour with my future boyfriend husband um so anyway we'll see how that goes um and it's just gonna make the journey more exciting if i do end up getting married one day also a weird thought is if it's god's will for me to get married what about I've already met him. Like, that's weird. And to add to the first question, do I think I'll still be single by next year? Depends, like, today. I am not sure because I don't think I'm ready to date someone until I have a driver's license. But I'm not just going to date someone just because now I have a driver's license. Um, but there are some good, nice guys out there. I have high standards, but you don't always know if they meet all your standards until you get to know them more. So, who knows, I might go on a few dates, but I don't really know if I'll be dating anyone by next year. Do you have any pets? As of now, I don't own any personally, but we do have family cats, which I like to take care of. Do you have a job? And if so, where do you work at? Um, I recently quit it, but I worked with bunnies and Let's just say I am very happy the job is done now and now I'm on like vacation mode because it's summer and then I'm going to figure out where I'm going to go from there. What is something you're struggling with? Right now I'm struggling with the pressure to be a better friend than I can be. Like I want to be there for people but right now I just can't. Like I'm loyal to people but I'm not always the best at actually being with them, like present. So. That's something I want to work on because I put a lot of pressure on myself to be a good friend and I'm not always. So I want to be a better friend, but I also don't want to put so much pressure on myself to be an impossible perfect friend when nobody's going to be that. Like for me, I really appreciate when people are there for me, but I want to be there for them. Like I don't want to be a burden to other people. I want to help them. Like right now I can't drive, so I don't want to expect my friends to always drive and get me i want to be able to drive and get them and so that's something i want to do but i just i don't have my license yet what's a goal you have for this year that you want done by like the time this video is posted my goal is to get my license we'll see how that goes but i'm really excited i'm nervous i'll fail but it is what it is full sun what is something you want to work on it's not fear of judgment overall i don't worry about that but like wearing a CTC, I want to start wearing that. And I've been, if I'm being honest, worried what other people think. And I shouldn't worry about that. Um, but that is something I'm going to start doing. And I'm nervous because I know it'll raise questions, but that's a good thing about it as well. A reason why I'm struggling with this a lot more than other things is because I know how like important it is and how many questions it'll raise. Um, which I'm nervous about, but I'm going to start doing it anyway because I believe God wants us to. Another thing I'm working on is how I spend my time. I actually don't struggle with being lazy, but I sometimes struggle with doing the thing that's the best use for your time. Like, for instance, I like juggling, but am I just wasting time practicing juggling for 30 minutes, you know, a week, you know, like I could be, do, I could be using that time for other things, but also it's a hobby. So finding the line of like doing things you enjoy versus things that are more uh, better for the long term. Because I can use juggling to share the gospel, but realistically, I can use my time better for other things. But also it's okay to have fun and do things you enjoy. So finding that line I'm struggling with, um, it's a constant battle but it's something I'm working on. Do I have a crush on anyone? So for me, I think there's a lot of attractive guys out there, but 
me a crush is someone I would consider dating and a lot of guys I know they're great guys but they're not guys I would consider dating um so there are a few guys out there that I think are nice but I don't really know if I would say I have a crush on them because I just don't know them well enough to know if I really like them so to answer their question for the most part no there is this one dude I would I do like but he doesn't follow the tour so I want to protect my heart and not like really like him until we're on the same page as that and like I barely know him too so a slight crush but not really so if any of my guy friends are watching this one thank you very much and i'm sorry if i possibly friends on you it's just we have different beliefs but i really appreciate you and i think you're great it's just you're meant to be with someone else um yeah so sorry about that also i likely just generally like you as a friend anyway uh, but if you happen to have a crush on me or just still interested in what I believe either of you just like me as a friend then just let me know and we can have a conversation because it's fun talking about stuff like that or even if you're not my friend you know how many subscribers do I have I have 712 and that is such a buzzing I gotta say my goal has been to be a thousand for like two years but I'm really grateful I'm even at 700 because for like five years I was still at 100 which is still great but it took forever so 700 is great thank you for anyone who has watched this and, and, and I'm interested to see how much I've grown. What do I want to be when I'm older? So sometimes I put my value in what I'm going to be and so it's important to not do that I'm saying that as a reminder to myself. But I think I have figured out what I want to be, but I'm going to keep that surprise. And if, if I've actually achieved that, then I'll have to like do some sort of update in like the next year video or I don't know, something like that. Rate your musical abilities. As of right now, I would say I'm like an advanced noob. Like I am definitely still a beginner, but I do have like the basic foundation of like chords and reading notes even though i'm very slow at it um so I, I feel like i'm i'm at the highest noob level right now still a long way to go and i'm excited to see how far i get and people with perfect pitch that's so cool i want to be able to like have relative pitch but that's going to be hard said than done what is something you've learned this year i've this I knew, but like I really experienced firsthand. There's some people out there that will really challenge you and are not the best, but they're the people who like you need the most love. Like they're the people that people want to just hate on it so much, but that's really the people you need to show the most love to. Like it's easy to show you care someone that's easy to care for, but the people who need the most care, everyone doesn't want to care for because it's actually hard. So. That has really challenged me, actually like seeing that firsthand, but it's also taught me a lot as well. And like when the Bible says pray for your enemies, that's like so powerful and harder said than done, but it's a really good thing to do. And forgiveness, um, one is hypocritical to not forgive because we all hurt people in our own ways, but also forgiveness is such a great thing. For yourself it's not just for the other person but it lets go away in your heart if you're holding on to something so that is a good thing to do and if you need to forgive someone then you should really do that what's something random you want to mention right now i'm trolling liam thompson and it's just great i've been commenting on his videos for two years every week and I'm really interested if he's replied by now or if he'll reply, but that is so fun. Like, I've enjoyed that so much. So I'm interested to see if I'm still doing that this year or if he's possibly replied. What's something you're grateful for? I am very grateful for the friends God has blessed me with. When I was younger, I really didn't have a lot of good friends. I had friends, but they really weren't the best. Adult friends have been amazing, but like people my age, and I never really realized that there could be such good quality friends that actually like care for you and are loyal because I just didn't really have that growing up. But now I've met some amazing people and quantity is definitely better than quality and I'm blessed to have like a mixture of both. I don't even have time for them, which I feel bad about. Like now it's the opposite extreme there's all these amazing people in my life and I don't even really have time for them, which 
I feel bad about, but it's a blessing. Don't lower your standards or give up for good friends. Like always be friendly to people, but also if you have trash friends, also know your value and know that there are better people out there. And also remember that sometimes those people are the ones that need a friend and they need you and other people you need and sometimes you both need each other. So always be a friend to someone but also know that there are better friends out there if your friends don't treat you well and that was something really exciting for me is meeting actual good friends like I was kind of surprised like oh there's actual other people who are like loyal and caring like I know that should be a thing but it's harder to find than you would think what is something you want to say to your future self hi hi future one year Kayla uh, remember your value in God because you probably are meeting a lot of people that don't treat you the best or that don't know God. So remember to be the light to them and also remember to find contentment in these small things and just th make the most of every situation. You can learn from everything and also don't forget like the people you love. Try to spend time with them uh, while you can. And also, don't forget your hobbies. Have fun with your hobbies, make the most of them, and glorify God. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm interested if I look the same or if I've changed. And I hope you enjoy this and it'll be fun. I hopefully will make this video again a year from now and we'll see how different the answers are. I hope you have a great day and don't forget how much God loves you and wants a relationship with you. Thank you for watching and comment below maybe what surprised you or some fun things about yourself. Thanks for watching.